This is Franco Tenelli's Vocal Terms Dictionary. The subject is tessitura. Tessitura is the singer's comfortable range that is shorter than the full range, and it's sometimes called as working range. While the range within the same category of voices can be the same, tessitura can be quite different. For example, range of a full lyric tenor and dramatic tenor is identical, but tessitura of a dramatic tenor is lower than that of a lyric one. Tessitura is a range within a range and usually is one octave wide. For example, tessitura of a dramatic tenor is usually from E flat below middle C to E flat in a passaggio zone. And a tessitura of a full lyric tenor is usually from G to G. When composer writes for a particular voice, he has to take into consideration not just the range, but the tessitura of a tenor. If he writes for a dramatic tenor, he has to take his tessitura into great consideration. Otherwise, his compositions and his arias become very difficult to perform, very difficult to master. Greatness of the composer and his works don't necessarily prove his great knowledge about human voice. One of the greatest tessitural mistakes, to my point, were made by the great composer Mascagni in Cavalleria Rusticana in writing Siciliana. Siciliana is written as like it was meant to be sung by a very lyric tenor. Nobody can blame Beniamino Giri for lack of technique, but even he admits that he had very great difficulties of singing, performing Siciliana, while Maestro Mascani was himself attending the rehearsals. Torridu is a role written for lyrico spinto, or dramatic tenor. But Siciliana should sound like a love serenade and not like a dramatic aria. Mascani doesn't put a full orchestra behind it, just a harp imitating guitar. And when he heard Benjamin Giri struggling with it, forcing it, or singing like too dramatically, he himself tried to convince Gili to sing less operatically, more like a serenade. That is clearly showed his intentions, that this particular aria should be performed like a love serenade with a guitar. And if it were written a couple of steps down, then dramatic tenors would not have difficulties of singing it like a serenade. That is clearly a tessitorial mistake made by the great composer Mascagni. And I'm sure if you're not a tenor who performed this role, you think, who is that arrogant guy who teaches Mascagni how to write music? Another great composer, Leon Cavallo, didn't make the same mistakes writing his famous I Pagliacci. He writes similar serenade for Arlecchino, o Colombina, but he writes it for a lyric tenor, Peppe, and not for Canio. I guess Leon Cavallo knew human voices a little better than Maestro Mascani. I really don't want to single out the great Mascani. Many great composers in the past and in the modern time made the same mistakes. For that reason, all composers who want to write music for opera or just vocal music have to be intimately educated in the voice technique, its range and tessitura. But many think this simple way. Tenor is a tenor, soprano is a soprano. What difference does it make? I've never heard any more ignorant from the point of a singer statement. Because if you let a lyric tenor, even full lyric tenor, to sing Otello, sooner or later he will face big troubles. And believe me or not, before you try it, you don't really know if you really can do it. Great tenor Luciano Pavarotti once tried to do this in a live performance and he admitted later that it was a big mistake. Another example is a role of Kalov in Turandot, which is a heroic role, the role written for a heroic tenor. While Mario del Monaco, dramatic tenor, was quite at ease doing the most difficult role for all tenors, Otello, singing Kalaf was quite difficult for him, and it's also said that actually it damaged his voice. Another great tenor, his rival, Franco Corelli, was a heroic tenor in nature, and he was quite at ease singing Kalaf. In fact, many consider him the best Kalaf ever, but he was quite concerned taking the role of Otello and actually never performed it live on stage. The range of both roles are the same, but the tessitura is quite different. One of the greatest tenors ever existed on this planet, Enrico Caruso, during his time was not considered to be a dramatic tenor, but rather a full lyric tenor with the dark qualities. One that proves that is that he never approached the role of Otello, at least he never performed it live. It's sad that the role of La Juive actually destroyed his voice.
This was Franco Tanelli's Vocal Terms Dictionary. Subscribe to hear more politically incorrect but truthful statement about singing.